All right, and so we uh, chose to compare a clean and a snatch right here. Uh, so you can see the difference in bar path, and uh, so you can kind of see also the difference in landing position right here. Uh, you have an extremely good uh, first half of your lift. Uh, you're, you land in your front squat very easily, and that's likely due to the fact that, you know, partially because you're wearing no footwear, uh, which gives you no assistance in getting a very vertical torso as you land deep into an overhead squat or a front squat. That's also probably comfort in movement. Uh, I know that you had shared that, you know, overhead squat is not something you practice all that much, and typically uh, that uh, kind of comfort and awareness in that deep position comes pretty much through repetition uh, and, uh, you know, kind of gained range of motion, whether that be from footwear or uh, something else. So uh, I want you to kind of see a couple things right here. Uh, first, this pull off the ground, excellent body position and consistent body position throughout uh, both these lifts. You have a little bit of flexion up here in, your, uh, in the top image in your snatch right here uh, as you come up off the ground. Uh, not the biggest deal in the world, though. I think you recover from this pretty uh, quickly and efficiently. As you come up beyond the knees for both of these, uh, we can see that head starting to lead a little bit here in the snatch, uh, and the clean's a little bit more controlled. As we come up through, nice double knee bend through both of these lifts, getting back underneath the bar, really supported. And uh, I also like how your snatch position right here has more of a vertical torso at the top. However, because of this big discrepancy in torso angle right here, Watch as we come up off, we go back underneath the bar, it becomes a little bit too much like a deadlift in your snatch. Uh, I'd like to see you start with a little bit more of a vertical torso in your snatch. So what that would look like would be something like this right here. So those hips would be down a little bit more, and we'd be more on a line like this, because you can see as we come on up, this bar loses that vertical path as it leaves your hip. Nice, great extension on both these lifts. It looks beautiful at the top, but see how that bar is already out away from your body on the snatch, and then watch how this finishing position is going to be here. The bar is going to start rolling backwards into your shoulders right here, and you have to really internally rotate those shoulders to accommodate a forward torso uh, in this position and a backwards traveling bar. So uh, your arms are actually stopping the bar uh, from doing its path, so it's kind of like they're... They're pulling basically a stop instead of almost like a, an overhead press, so to speak, on the rip through. Uh, really uh, interesting, if you look at your uh, front squat right here, you have more of a, a vertical torso. And it's actually a very beautiful landing right here in your front squat. Uh, so instead of decelerating with the arms, what we'd like to do is accommodate that with more of a vertical torso, something that looks an angle more like this. Uh, to help you stabilize that uh, position and really make your landing a lot easier on you.